good so we're in shape really good <laughs> and we made it up here we didn't cramp or anything but we completely exhausted our calories we have no calories in us we burned them all we can go see what Ben's doing over here <laughs> recording. it actually feels so good dude there he is putting his, what appears to be his knee in the water because he broke uh, his knee on the way up. I didn't break it, but I did twist it. It's Dude, probably this, broken and we're gonna have to call a spot here soon. Seriously, this is the best idea we've had though. This is feeling so nice in the water. It's, we don't wait. have ice. Yeah, I'm, don't just, feel like I'm just getting a different angle. Please don't. <laughs> hey, turn around and look at me though for a second. There you go. <laughs> There's, oh, I've spotted a Kowalski. Uh-oh. He's off being weird. Like always. At least, though, I look good. Let's give us a little. Whoa. One of these, one of those. Under Armour Sidka the Vortex. Right here. Got the logo on there. Wow. Oh, I got it. there Figured he is, out, reappearing. It actually feels so nice. Look out. There's my diary cam. I'm sitting here, uh. Bummed up. Kowalski is working hard on stuff. Drew's working hard on stuff. And here's me. This is my situation right now. If for a second year in a row, we have hiked all the way to Hossack and can't hunt sheep, I'm going to be way, way bummed out. But I'm gonna blow my top. <laughs> that happens. It peters out somewhere over there, so where does it go? Right under this, but like where the sheep are walking. Yeah. You see it right there? Yeah. It just goes straight. It follow that line yeah. and then you look you peek over that little knoll right there and you can see like the whole loss of drainage. Friday at about 5.30. Season opens tomorrow morning. And we've got sheep. We've got sheep all over the place. Look at those two fighting. See any young rams? Yeah. Go ahead and tell us what just happened, what we're doing, where we're at, what's going on with the knee. It's Friday, September 12th. We are up here for my U-sheep tag. Um, I had a bit of a, an issue this morning where I twisted my knee bad on the trail and it progressively got worse and worse. In fact, it got like significantly bad. Um, we get to camp and my knee's like bad, it's hurt. So I had to sit down and ice it and wrap it while Drew and Kowalski set up the tarp and all that. Finally, after a couple hours of sitting there, I said, guys, let's, let's just see how the knee is and let's just walk really slowly up the trail towards where we're going to hunt tomorrow. And we made it up about another half mile from camp and we spotted sheep. So now we spent the remainder of the night watching sheep we got a pretty good idea where they're going to be. In fact, I'm seeing some right now with my naked eye. Um, 
and tomorrow's opening morning of sheep season. So stay tuned. See if we can uh, if we can find him again in the morning and if the knee feels better. Does the camera want to do an interview? Ready to go. Bright and early. Except it's not bright. We saw sheep yesterday. We know where they are. And now it's before shooting light, opening morning. It's about as exciting as it gets, folks. Stay tuned. There's Kowalski, not contributing whatsoever. <laughs> I'm here for moral support. <laughs> and we gotta go up there. I'm my gun on for now. And look for you. But I think we have one. If not, we'll keep hunting. But that saddle right there is where we gotta go. Yeah, I'm on her. Yeah, I hit her. She looks fine. Easy. There it is. Yep, you got her. Southern Colorado U sheep tag. We're, uh, we're up here right now at about 13.5, 13, 13,000 feet at least. Um, we got one down. It was, uh, it was pretty incredible. We got up here, it's about, a, about an eight mile hike from the truck to where camp is. And then from where camp is to where we are, we're probably another two miles. Um, anyway, last night we, we spotted a few, came on up. Took a, uh, took a good close look at them, put them to bed, so to speak. Headed back to camp, had a real cold night last night. Uh, woke up you know, quite a bit before sunrise this morning and, and creeped up and around. And huge thanks to Kowalski for, uh, Kowalski spotted them and uh, made this huge, like sketchy long stalk up to this, this uh, cliff that was really kind of scary. Um, anyway, he kind of pushed them out and they were on this other side here and came up over this this steep cliff and saw her sitting at about 280 yards and and took the shot and uh and the rest is history as they say so big thanks to everybody huge shout out here folks to both kowalski and drew making it getting it done all i did was pull the trigger the easy part these guys did all the work appreciate you both <laughs> We're on our camp. Here's our camp. Here's Drew in the shade, hunkering down. Here's our tent. Here's our tarp set up. Boom, chicka boom. Over here's our fire pit. Here's our firewood stash. And over here, what do we have? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a dead you. Like right here. Show us the form. I got that on tape, just so you know. Good. Ooh. Nice. One again. Oh. 
Watch my room. I had three in a row. It's over. That's three and three. Like a boss. Like a boss. Oh yeah, boys. Sheep tenderloins. Drew, where'd you put my fork after messing with it? Is it gone? What fork? My stick fork. You took it from me. It's over there. I see it. I'm sitting down on my log here, cooking my sheep. Yeah. Tenderloins. Oh. Yeah. Kind of salivating over here. Oh god, it's good. So good? Mmm. So good. Oh man. That's tender too. It's super tender. Look at how look at that. Look at him rip it off. That's Look at how cheap. tender that is. Mmm. It's good sheep. Oh my god. Well done, ben. That's incredible. Yeah. Mm. We are eating the best meat we have ever had in our lives. Watch this split apart. I'm just eating it off a stick. Oh man. Like a marshmallow. Mmm. We, uh, oh my God. We, we did it. <laughs> this is the best tenderloin I've ever had in my life. Aren't they amazing? And I don't know if it's a combination of a U sheep, the situation, or the seasoning, or a combination, but whew. U sheep and a little cocktail and a little <laughs> green cup, and you're good to go. I don't mind if I do. So, a lot of you guys might be wondering, why? Why do you do? Why do they do it? Why do they put themselves? You know, why do they take days off of work? Why do they buy a two hundred fifty dollar tag? Why do they hike up a miserable, long, long hike? Really miserable. Why do they freeze at night? Why do they wake up before sunrise at thirteen thousand feet? Why did they climb a cliff to try to find it? Once they find it, why do they have why do they then, you know, shoot it and deal with being up there with it and uh, you know, then deal with getting it out, deal with cleaning it, deal with the pack out, heavier weight, a longer hike, an extra night here in the woods, you know, why 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 do they do it? Well, for a you, why why for a you? Well, I'll do it for a ram cuz we're trophy hunters. I believe the best kind of trophies are the ones that can't be hung on any wall. The best kind of trophies look a lot like this. Sitting here by a fire with some good friends, some camaraderie, a cool camp set up, some beautiful scenery. I, I personally believe... Forget you. Yeah. <laughs> I personally believe that this is far, far, far more valuable than any any trophy you could ever get. Best trophy ever. And uh, so, so to answer the question, that's that's why that's why we do it. for the trophy that can't be hung on any wall. The adventure. 